how do compressed air powered air wipes compare against blowers? First of all, convenience. Air wipes are small devices that are very easy to install. They require no power source other than a compressed air feed. And so they're much, much easier to install than a new blower system, which obviously needs its own power supply. It's got its own blower unit and then all the tubing and stuff to take that to the delivery system. In terms of convenience, a compressed air air wipes win hands down. Reliability. If we make one assumption and we assume that the compressed air supply in the factory is sufficient and reliable, then the air wipe has almost nothing to go wrong with it. There's no moving parts in it. It's a cleverly shaped lump of metal, but it's incredibly reliable. The lowers, on the other hand, will have a power source, they'll have moving parts, they'll require maintenance, and so there's a lot more to go wrong. There are plenty of blowers that are incredibly reliable and useful for even harsh environments, but there's still a lot more to go wrong. There's a lot more potential for a breakdown. So air wipes on their own will be far more reliable. Obviously this point is completely moot if the compressed air supply itself in the factory is unreliable as air wipes are only as reliable as their air supply so it's not quite entirely true to say that they're more reliable than blowers but if you've got a good reliable compressed air supply then the air wipe is an incredibly reliable bit of kit with almost nothing to go wrong it. Next factor is what we call on and off ability. The ability to turn on and off the air force very quickly. Hooked up to a solenoid valve, an air wipe can be cycled on more or less instantly. There's no build up time, the compressed air is there waiting to go. It's very responsive compressed air, so more or less instantly you've got full air force as soon as you hit the switch on the solenoid valve. Many blowers, they might take a little time to build up and they won't have high impact straight away and there'll be a delay in response. For many applications that require that reactivity, a compressed air air wipe is far more responsive than any blower system. Energy consumption. Compressed airs tend to use more energy than blowers. So even though they've got no power source other than the compressed air supply, compressed air is generally quite an expensive way of transferring energy around factory. It's a very, very useful way. It has lots and lots of applications. You have to compress the air, you have to use energy to make it, and it can be quite expensive. So blowers will tend to be more efficient in terms of raw energy consumption. However, in some circumstances that efficiency can be reduced because if we think back to the on and off ability benefits of the air wipe, if we're having to cycle things on and off quite quickly and we can stop starting, the fact that that can be done far more effectively with air wipes means you're wasting less energy there. So in some circumstances, air wipes can actually be more efficient in terms of energy than blowers, but typically they will be less efficient. Scope and size. There's a limit to the size of compressed air air wipe systems. And the biggest in our range have 11 inch openings. And as they get bigger and bigger, it just becomes less and less practical to actually use air wipe systems. So 11 inches is about the limit of these systems. The lower system can scale to whatever size you want. So if you're looking at very big extrusions, very big products, then air wipes just may not be the problem.